Hi, my name is Christy Hutton. I'm the head of school. This is my 18th year at Kirby and my eighth year as head of school. I think it's super important that a school prioritize teachers because we ask our teachers to prioritize the kids every day. We ask them to empower the kids every day. Our recipe for success is very simple. Empower teachers, empower students. Respected teachers, respect students. My name is Eva Shavey. I am the head of the history department here at Kirby, and I've been here for seven years. We as teachers are allowed to pitch any course we want every year if we feel that it is like good for the curriculum um, and would be beneficial to the school. So some of these electives that we have at Kirby, students would normally only get in a university context, maybe even in like a higher university context. So the fact that we can give these electives and these classes to students and be trusted by the administration to deliver this content is amazing. Hi, my name is Bob Camozzi. This is my third year at Kirby, my 24th year teaching high school in both public and private settings. One thing I've learned after all this time is that there's either teaching happening or there's learning happening in a classroom, but they're not both happening at the same time. So I think in my classroom, what you see or what I try to create is student voice, student talking, asking them questions, being genuinely curious about their responses, wanting to hear from the kid, wanting to get that feedback. But again, it's the honesty. It's that I'm trusted to teach this and that I can trust the students to grapple with complex ideas. I'm Luis Infante and I teach uh, physics, physical science at the middle school level and engineering and design thinking. One of my biggest philosophies in education is uh, getting students to have fun. I want them to think of science as something fun because I grew up with people like in my science classes with me and just like dragging their feet and like, you know, these classes were boring, I will admit. We do this thing called a modeling approach where instead of um, having them read about the laws of physics, um, they're challenged with designing investigations that have been tailored so that they happen upon these laws of physics. So the way that I am preparing my students in my physics class for the real world, I would say is by not focusing on content as much, although it is important and I love it personally, um, we're focusing more on skills in terms of how they approach a problem, how they design investigations to test that problem, being open to interrogating their answer um, and looking at it again because more often than not, there's more to the story. Hi, I'm Megan Lee. I teach math and computer science at Kirby and I've been here for 10 years now. So at Kirby I have no more than 12 students in a class usually. That lets me do small groups. It lets me to get to every single kid, every single class and really work with them on which way they're thinking about problem solving. I can help them learn math in a way that works for them instead of having them kind of erase what they were thinking and do it my way instead. I got an email once from a parent who had said that uh, I have a brilliance in uh, working with students whose minds work very different than my own uh, and helping them to kind of see the beauty in math even though they don't see it the same way that I do. Um, and she wrote about building bridges between uh, students with different learning modalities so that we could all kind of study the same thing in the same way even though we work through it differently. I thought that was beautiful. Hi, my name is Katie Trigg and I teach Spanish at Kirby. Um, I've been teaching for 15 years and seven of those have been at Kirby. At Kirby, students get to have a lot of conversations and interaction with adults. So they practice advocating for themselves, really clear communication, and uh, they can express their thoughts and ideas really well. When we're hiring a teacher at Kirby, there's two things we look for. One, they authentically trust and like children. And our teachers absolutely love being in the classroom with our students. The other really important thing is, do they have enthusiasm for their subject? Not just expertise, but do they love it? Is it oozing out of them and is it gonna be contagious in the classroom? When a teacher meets those two standards, we know we can work with them and they're gonna be successful with our kids. So we have an amazing faculty here.